Okay, so the backup camera finally arrived. So we're gonna test this out to see if it works. It's from China, that's why it took so long to get here apparently. Oh man, my car just smells in here. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. I was on the track and did some nice awesome damage to the brake pads and to some of my car because I went off the track. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna do a little install. At least we're gonna test out to see if the actual if the actual backup camera works and see if I'm not going crazy and if we can get this thing up and working. I've been really missing it. it kind of sucks just looking out the back window. So once again, we will be taking out this bottom portion and taking out this front screen. And it's basically so we can plug this, plug all this crap in to see if this camera actually works when I put it into reverse. I want to check that before we actually install everything just because I'm not entirely sure this will work. Alright, so this is what we want to hook up to. And this whole hooked up to our old camera. So this is our video input. electrical so this is where you get the power from when you put it in reverse okay so this might just look like a crap ton of wires but it's really quite simple so what we have here is we have our old system and here we have a wire that essentially is pulling power and we have the red as the positive and black as the ground and essentially to our new setup here we have our two wires here that you can either hook up because this is actually connected to the camera here you can actually hook this up to the rear tail lights so when you back up this will turn on the camera, this will power. This is essentially what you need to power the actual backup camera. So this plug right here is not to power it, it's to actually unlatch it. And this wire is going to go all the way to the front here. And you can do this multiple ways. There's also a wireless kit that you can get too. Mine's already been wired all the way back there. So I know how to do it and it's pretty easy. And so what we want to do here is to, this is my main connector here. Uh, these are sort of dolphin cables, which uh, electrical terms, it's basically to, so you can crimp the wire so that, you know, you don't have an exposed wire like this one. So you don't spark or start a fire or anything like that. So I actually have something similar to that because my dad used to be an alarm technician. Uh, if I can get him out of here. These, I don't know, I call them dolphin connectors because my dad, like, there were labels on here that said dolphins on them. So, I just thought it was funny that, uh, they might actually be called dolphin connectors, I'm not sure. Anyways, if you're not, if you're not comfortable cutting wires, uh, honestly, just try it. If you have enough wire, you should be able to. Uh, these are some wire cutters, uh, and are, I think it's called actually a wire stripper. So you can strip some of the wire so you can expose it and actually connect it to another positive or, or ground. So that's what we're going to do here. What I do is I basically put it in there. You have to make sure it's not the smallest one or the, it, it's the right size. And then basically what you do is twist it around a little bit and then you pull on the opposite side. And then it comes right off. All right, so this was the old camera, cutting that off, no big deal. Old camera's not working anyways, so. And then I'm gonna cut the rest of these because there's plenty of wire here, so I just need to make sure I know what's hooked up to what. So 
this is white to red here and then we have black to black to black and then I want to cut it as far as I can away because I just want to give myself if I screw up like some leeway If I did this properly, when I turn the car and put it into reverse, we should be good to go. And I can't turn that down, can I? Oh wait, here we go, we have controls here. <laughs> Alright, so, that's... Oh, it works! It works! Hello! Look, it even has guidance things on it. It doesn't look too terrible in quality. Okay, to give you a look at what I'm doing with the wiring, it's basically this, wiring it in the upper mesh here, and then eventually coming over here. Um, be careful with this portion here. Uh, the actual, let me give you a look-see here. So, underneath this rubber gasket here, there's uh, the actual metal framing of the actual car. So this sort of item right here. And it's sharp, so be careful. So basically, looking at this, we wired it from this here. And underneath here, it goes into this rubber grommet here. And then I wired it in here, which was a pain in the butt to get in. So basically what I did here was uh, put the wire in through this rubber tubing here and then it comes out this top portion here. So it's kind of difficult to fish through but you can definitely do it and just spend a little bit more time doing that and just watch your hands. Some of this, some of this uh, metal piece here is sharp. So then what we're going to continue to do is we have more wiring here and then we're gonna wire this all the way along this rear portion. We're gonna take off this back portion here, which has a few sockets in here. So one, two, three, four, and then this will be able to come off. And then also, since we are replacing this rear sheet here, so uh, the latch here comes off as well. So how that works is once this back portion comes off here, there are, I believe there's, uh, it's like four or six different sockets. One, two, three, four, five, six over here. And then that actually allows you to take this piece off in the back here. So, <clears throat> so this back here, this piece comes off and then you'll be able to replace this fairly easily. Okay, so we have gotten this back panel off with these four screws here. So those were here, here. So these one, two, and one and two. Those are seven millimeter sockets. So uh, you probably need an extension. So this right here worked for me. And yeah, so now we have to move to the last six bolts here. So there's one here here, 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 and here. And that'll take off this back plate, which will allow you to get to this, what is this called? The latch, so that I can replace the latch. And it's a OEM fitment, so this will work perfectly. <laughs> So right here, as you can see, this is a little grommet for the stock hat or latch here. And these were the six bolts that I was referring to right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take off this latch right here and then install this one right here. 
All right, so just to give you a side-by-side, -side, here are the two latches. This to the right is the stock latch, and this to the left here is our new latch with our rear view camera. Okay, as you can see here, this is all put back together. And I didn't record a lot of it just because it was a huge hassle. Uh, probably needed another tripod and some more light but I needed to get this done before work, so I just finished it up. And I put all this back together because it's a pain in the butt to record, but you've already seen a video of me taking this apart. And this is sort of like a fake reverse, so we'll latch up and then to the left here, and then here you can see <laughs> the top of the garage because currently the hatch is up. So yeah, this is the little tutorial of me installing my rear view camera. It was kind of a pain in the butt, but it is currently 1.15, so it took me about two hours to do this entire thing. So just as a disclaimer, I'm not certified by Ford. I am not a Ford technician. I just wanted you to know and see how a person just doing it yourself would actually go. This is how it works with the Ford Focus. It works with 2012 through 2014. The 2015, 16, 17 models currently all come with standard rear view cameras, so you don't have to worry about them for these cars. Now for the Ford Focus ST, the 2013, 2014 ones do not have a standard rear view camera, which is really annoying, so this is a little hack to actually get into them. If you have any questions, if you want to see any particular diagrams or see how I installed certain things or how I wired anything, feel free to leave a comment in the description below and I will get to them as soon as I can. I hope you liked the video, hope it was informative. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and subscribe to the channel if you liked the content. Thank you for watching.